Call of Duty Zombies is amazing. It's basically zombie perfection. And I'm gonna ruin it by turning it into a medieval game. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, here's the basic premise of COD Zombies. One to four players spawn on a closed off map with zombies spawning in waves. And every time they do, they get stronger, faster, and increase in numbers. You use points to buy weapons, doors, and perks. The goal is to survive as long as you can, unless you're doing an easter egg. All of these things I'm gonna be adding into my game. Maybe not the easter eggs, those tend to get a little... excessive. So first, I looked for a medieval player model, and found this dude on Mixamo. But there's a problem, he isn't rigged for Unreal Engine. This basically means any free animation pack won't work, because his bones will contort very painfully and make him look like this. And uh, we don't really want him to look like this. For now we'll just use this guy, who's in his underwear. Why are we doing this? Surprisingly, this guy has the most medieval outfit out of all my asset packs. So you'll have to deal with this guy until I find a better player model. Now, something I do have that's medieval is this, a medieval weapons pack. I created a fresh new project and imported all the assets I needed into the game. I made some swinging animations, and then I coded the functionality to be able to damage zombies. Now, there is just one problem. We don't have zombies. Okay, so I found this zombie model off of Mixamo, and I'm gonna learn from my mistakes and use the animations off of Mixamo. Now, let me ask you, what makes killing zombies fun? That's right! This never I... I don't think- Okay, it's been a bit. It looks good now. Also, the zombies have AI. I forgot to tell you this. Then I realized something. This game is probably gonna suck really bad. And what makes a bad game funny? Multiplayer. Now, I'm already working on a multiplayer FPS game. It's called Chaotic Conflicts, which you should definitely wish this on Steam, by the way. And if you don't, I will be coming over to your house and personally make you wish this game on Steam. Anyhow, back to multiplayer. And since I already have experience coding multiplayer games, I added it pretty easily to this game. So, let's test it out. Oh, I do not like that. I do not. So I found this guy off of Sketchfab. Um, he looks like he was sent from the heavens. But hey, he's rigged and I'll use it. I imported this model into UE5, did some magic, and boom. No more naked people running around. Now, it's time to work on the round progression system. At the beginning of each round, zombies would spawn randomly in between set points. And to progress the round, you need to kill all the zombies. Now, every time the round passes, the zombies will increase in number and strength. Now, I spent a few hours coding this, and it worked pretty well. Except for the fact that the zombies don't have a limit for spawning. This basically means computer go boom because too many zombie on screen. Now to fix this, we can just limit the amount of zombies that can exist on a map at once. Now your computer won't explode. Next, we need some new weapons so the game has progression. I went through the weapons in the pack and I found these models. I mean, this should be easy to add. Just replace this model and that is not how you'll die dagger. You know what? It works, so I'll keep it. So I made the weapons have their own stats and stuff, and the weakest weapon is the dagger, which is the one you start off with. Now, to get these weapons, you need to buy them with points, like called the zombies. Speaking of points, we don't have them yet, so let's code them. I made this point variable that increases every time you kill a zombie. I then added a number to the HUD that displays the amount of points you have, so you can keep track of it. And now that we have currency, we can now complete our capitalistic economy. We can now add the ability to buy weapons, and anything else I decided to add. Now, how this works is pretty simple. It will check if you have enough, and then if you do, it will take your money away, and you will get the weapons. Great, right, now you can buy weapons. Now, since we have multiplayer, we need a going down system. Now, in Cod Zombies, if you're playing a multiplayer game, then whenever you die, you go into this injured state where you're basically incapacitated until someone revives you. If they don't, then you die. And then you have to wait till next round to respawn. But, then again, I did not code health or zombie damage into the game. You're just adding that now? Okay, I I'm sorry, I just forgot. That should've been like the first thing you added. I, I, I don't- Sorry, man, I, I don't know what to say. Hey, I, I just don't- I'm Shut up. Shut up, you stupid okay, okay. idiot. I I'm sorry. I hopped into the photo editor and made this damage effect. I messed around with the effect a bit, and I had this. Which is pretty good, I, I like it. I imported this animation of this dude who just looks like he's just in a lot of pain. And I made it so whenever you lose all your health, you go into that down position. And then another player has to come revive you. Great, we have all the aspects to make a COD Zombies clone. Now all that's left to do is to make a map. This should be pretty easy, right? <laughs> first attempt was to create a medieval crypt slash dungeon. But notice how I said first attempt. As I was building the map, it was coming along very well. But I guess I did something wrong, and the whole game engine crashed and didn't save any of that progress. So yeah, two hours of my life are gone. My next idea was this ruined temple type map, which sounds familiar because I also did that on my last game, but don't worry about it. I found this temple off of the marketplace, then surrounded it with mountains and hills and rocks. I added a few barricades that you need to buy with points, placed a few weapons across the map, and... Wait, something's missing. Oh yeah, perks. 
So in Call of Duty Zombies, there are these upgrade called perks, which are basically sodas that make you have special abilities. Also, fun fact, one of them has meth in it. That's canon, by the way. That's, that, that is canon. So I added three perks. Extra health, faster revive, and faster movement speed. These are direct rips from, uh... The game but it's fine no one will know so i got a free collagen model put some liquid in there and slap the price tag on it wait something's off i feel like we're missing one more thing we need to add gambling the mystery box is an integral part of call of duty zombies it probably gave thousands of people gambling addiction to be honest basically how it works is you give a certain amount of points and it gives you a random weapon so i got this box off of quicksil bridge then I made the insides of the cube glow by stuffing a big giant box inside of it. I made it so that every time you interact with it, it will take your money away, lift the lid up, and boom, you get the weapon. I put together a main menu and made a very, very, very creative title. And then I sent it off to my friends for testing. Rah! What's this? Uh, buy the maze. What's Are they coming? Wait, what button is- Yo, turn around, watch it! Oh, yo, yo, yo! Ah! Ah. <laughs> I just got. Ah. <laughs> help, I, somebody help! Help me! Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. All right, boys, let's go. Let's get out of here. There's a random weapon uh, thing. I'll go with that. I got. I got four K points already. So. I in the. I put five K. I'm gonna spin the box. I got a smord. I got a scythe. Get yeah, off to. Oh, what the hell? I would say that was a success. So I uploaded it to Game Jolt. I made this absolute banger of a game page. Just look at this. The banner is just this guy staring at you, and the only image is this blurry screenshot of the game. No one in their right mind would play this game. What is this? How the hell did you find this game, man? <laughs> look at the page! Everyone, go subscribe to this dude for enduring and promoting whatever the hell this game is. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I'll give you some subscribers. Anyhow, uh, that's all I have for this video. Go download the game if you want to. <laughs> it's not very good. But anyhow, make sure to wishlist my game on Steam. Goodbye.